Hello and welcome to Let's Play In The Space 2. I'm JC Proton. This is episode 36 of my sixth Let's Play series. We are playing the Vaulters. Can't you tell? And uh, we're on endless difficulty, endless duration game. It's a base game, like, like, like no mods. It's only the first DLC. It's a large spiral, whatever, the largest size spiral eight galaxy, single constellation. Looks like stuff's happening over here. Somebody, somebody got assimilated. Oh, I think it's that one. The Pistis has been assimilated by the um, uh, Lumeris. Yep, they're doing their thing, man. They're doing their thing where they're assimilating everybody. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay, well, that's cool. The more stuff they control, then there's more stuff that they have for me to take from them. So that works out great. Vaulters are very piratey that way. Uh, we've seen eels more trustworthy than you. Hmm. We'll consider that. You're a sly one, aren't you? <laughs> the purple falcon. Okay, thanks, I guess. I'm not that... He's at war with, uh, yeah, he's at war with the, uh, Cravers. Okay. Just run through these real quick here. Okay, so this is looks like ecologist scientists, which is what we currently have. Thirteen industrials, fourteen pacifist. Military and religious are in the last place. See how that stacks up against uh, this chart here. Okay, yeah, so election is uh, after turn 80, so it's only nine turns away. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. We will see how that goes. Um, <laughs> this guy's level five now. Here, have some more industry. Gain the level. Alright, cool. Here, have some more industry. Alright, uh, Graviton Shield Laboratories and Colonize Arctic. Yeehaw! Alright, boys, we gonna, we gonna get our research on now. <laughs> All right, yeah, this is an awesome structure, man. One of my favorites. Definitely good things are going to happen with that. Yeah, let's go ahead and add this. Uh, let's add this bad boy in everywhere. Maybe not there. I mean, we, we could totally afford to put a portal in there, but I guess we could. It would only be five. If we have a reason to have one, and I guess we can build one. Hardship bonus incentives. Huh. 10% more science and extra 25% on happy. That's a really, really good one. Huh. That's a pretty nice twist. And the dry dock upgrade. That's pretty cool. That's definitely pretty cool. Huh, it's two turns either way. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we terraformed to Arid on both of these. Completed. Does that matter? Yes, it matters. So we're going to do it that way. Okay, 1692, yeehaw. That's pretty close to what they had over there. I think we're just about done with the build queue. Sim camp just completed at Pulsos. Uh, Bolt is completed at CA. Cool, so we have three bolts there and seven arrows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. <clears throat> That'd be a pretty tough little fleet, man. Okay, all of that is close enough to being okay, to be okay. Make sure everybody's growing right. Yep, this guy's got a sower. Other than that, we're looking good. All right, let's uh, check our fleets out. Let's see, I remember that uh, we got attacked by these guys at some point. Just kick him out. Since he's on his way there, we'll go ahead and trap him and uh, finish him off, just for fun. We're going to be at war with Sofans uh, before too long anyway. We'll do that. 
that just to park him. We'll do that just, just because, man, uh, that dude, he can just hang out. That dude can just hang out. <clears throat> Dude's got nowhere to go, nowhere to be, no nothing to do. He can just hang out. Alright, this dude can take a look. Signal four. Twenty or a cal six. Wow, that was a pretty cool loot. <laughs> So supposedly in a couple of turns, I guess I will have visibility. I will have, in two turns, I'll complete this and unlock these. And then hopefully I'll finally maybe actually get visibility to all of the rare curiosities, including the uh, rare luxuries and Orocal 6 and Quadranix. Maybe, hopefully, finally, after all these times of thinking I was going to get it and not getting it. I guess I'll just fly this guy over into a holding pattern. Another colonizer. Look at that, all beams. He's running all beams now. But I guess because my the, the fleet that we did battle with him over here, we were running, I guess it was a lot more kinetic. I don't remember. I mean, at least at least he's like trying to re react or respond to my build with his with a different build that's supposedly min max optimized or whatever. All right, he can just wait because there's nothing there's nothing down here yet. Okay. And they want us to remove our fleet. I don't think that's going to happen. Let's see. Something over here, I think it is. Oh, yeah. That's a hard no. <laughs> we're, not, we're not moving that fleet out. Nope. <clears throat> nope, nope. Oh, we've seen eels more trustworthy than you. Hmm. I wonder how bad we're doing now because of all of these. Still positive there, there, there. Negative there. Negative there. Careful, you're messing with the smart ones. There we go, we'll do bureaucratic and burligo. Ah, see now the pressure trend is uh, plus 0 0.4 to, per turn on to our advantage. Although it still looks like this is flashing in the wrong direction, but anyway. Better than it was. These guys. Guess for what it's worth. We are coming. Yeah, sure we are. Whatever. <laughs> you you got your hands full, buddy. <laughs> if I recall correctly. Uh, let's see here. Swap with him. Yeah, they're at war. Yeah, it looks like the United Empire is beating the Cravers in that war. So, he's got his hands full. I'm not afraid of him. 
Yeah, we can see how that might help end this war sooner, but we still win at science. Your declarations mean nothing to the Hive. Nothing has changed. Okay. Alright, uh, we'll go ahead and click on over to the next turn. Yeehaw, boys. Let's get our turn on. <laughs> 793. Yeah, see the other guys are catching up. There's got a couple people almost at 500, so I'm, I'm ahead, but I'm not ahead by a huge amount. It's not like they're at 500 and I'm at 3,000 or something. That comes later. <laughs> when we conquer everybody. All right. Move the fleets. Everybody move. Hey, we did the thing. Unlock five technologies in less than 76 turns. Immigrant integration. Aw, isn't that nice? <laughs> okay. Alright, and Solar Quest has started Eye of the Storm Build 3 Science Improvements. <laughs> they timed it till just after I finished all those science improvements. That's okay, I'm about to build more. Oh, that's funny. Plus 2% dust on Empire per assimilated minor faction. God, how many of those do we have? <laughs> Nine. Mm, so that'll be 18% dust. That's, that's not nothing. Okay, we grew more people, which means we're going to have sowers queued up again. Yep. Now we have all the right things growing, except for pulses where I don't really have a space port built. All right, that'll be good enough for one more turn. <clears throat> yeah, dude leveled up to nine. Yeehaw. Okay. Um, He's the one we didn't want as a senator. He is a senator, but we don't want him to be a senator. This is the guy. Ooh, that's a hard one to pass up right there. Plus 30 science, just straight up. I mean, 30 industry. I'm still half only half awake. I just woke up from a nice power nap. I've noticed when I rewatch my videos, I, I, I say the wrong word a lot. <laughs> like, I'll be saying, I'll be talking about science and I'll call it uh, industry or research or influence or something. It's just like, I don't know why I said the wrong word there. Apparently I do that a fair bit, so I apologize for jumbling up my words. Try try to go with what I mean instead of what I say, I guess. Okay, so our science probably just exploded. Let's see here. I think it went up by around a thousand in one turn. Wasn't it like forty eight hundred or something like that? I think it went up by 20%. <laughs> Something like that. This went up a lot. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay, that's all fine and dandy. Intergalactic relations. School. Oh yeah, this is the thing where I can give away. Um, let me see if... Oh, it did. it did that funny thing. I missed it. On the replay, if you back it up, you'll see the planets are like floating around randomly. 
Uh, now it's not going to do it for me, but it happened. Improves election actions to influence election results. So I get I get more uh, consequential election influence now. Uh, colonizing toxic. Cool. Uh, let's roll over and do that immediately. Uh, that one is large. That one is medium. So we're going to do the large, then the medium. <clears throat> Okay, and then the lava will be uh, three turns from now. He's okay. <clears throat> so better treaties. Interesting. Okay, I want to I want to check that out and see what that's about. So if I was to say be friendly-ish somebody maybe maybe this guy mr. I like you cuz you didn't attack us and I wanted to the kill. Empire welcomes all those who share its ideals do you do I hmm he has or so I don't seem to have the option to trade planets. Maybe if you're at peace you can trade planets? I don't know. Planetary systems. Okay, so I think I'm done with that for this turn. Thirty-six twenty-four, fourteen, thirteen, okay. So industrialists are getting up there, man. They're about to third place or so. <clears throat> All right, moving fleets. Uh, that dude. See, it should unlock next turn. Oh, that's right. I got these things over here, don't I? Wait. Yes, I do, and I didn't get to him. I do declare. Okay, so let's let's run him over there, and then I guess. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just run him to there, and then we'll see. Um. See, that dude can hang out. He's armed with 46 worth of energy weapons. He's armed with 155. We're going to guard. We're going to go ahead and get a little more intrusive here since we're going down the path of violence anyway. Okay. Let's rock on out. Let's get this next turn and let's see what we can see. And hopefully we'll be able to see the stuff that I've been looking for, and uh, then I'll search for it off camera and uh, come up with some plans and strategies and such. I feel like the games are kind of jerking me around a little bit, uh, teasing me and saying, ah, psych, oh, you thought you were going to get to see these now? Nope, uh, not yet. 
A whole lot of that has been happening. Okay, everybody go. All right, so where are we at here? All right, we have the research completed. Science exploration tier four. We built stuff. Ooh, we built a lot of stuff. Colonizing toxics. We leveled up a hero. Cool. Built population. Oh. <clears throat> population boosts are over. All right. Let's take a peek and see if we can just quickly see things that we didn't see before. There's something at NOS. Subterranean 1. Okay. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So Subterranean 1 on a gas. That's going to be Quadranix. Zanes. Okay, Ruins 4. That could be a deposit of a rare luxury. Ruins 4 on the Ash. Cool. Like we see some stuff. You know what I need to do? I need to put another scout down here to hit check at Cetus. Because I had one at Cetus and one at Galvaran, and I haven't uh, checked those out yet. And Graphius. Okay, cool. So it looks like there are some more... Um, <clears throat> So off camera, I'll go ahead and uh, scout everything out, um, see if I can figure out where I want to send everybody, maybe get them started in the directions that they need to be. Artemis, looks like he's got a new one. Life form four, and the subterranean one. So the subterranean one is gonna be Oracalcyx, 100% chance. Um, and the life form four could quite likely be a rare luxury resource. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and get this part out of the way. No need to watch that. We know how that's gonna be. <laughs> bye bye. Should have checked to see what his curiosity expedition level is. But I was a little too quick with the guns. Okay, well, I might just um, load back in uh, just to peek at that. So, Volley's got one. Subterranean one. Look at that on the ice. There's Oricalcyx there. I had it and I walked away, I let it go. Polaris. Uh, that seems like they have ruins four. Seems like maybe that was flashing before. Form four. Yeah, it'll be good to get these all revealed. Definitely looking forward to it. Did we have any up here? Nope. That's kind of a little bit of a sad taste. Oh, Pollux has got something. So train one. Okay, so that's going to be a Quadranix location. Yep, that's going to be Quadranix there. Uh, burning, burning uh, planet. One, two, three, four hots. Cool. Ooh, looky, 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 we got 
something in our own system. Oh, we got ore calcix. Yep. We have ore calcix deposit right here, man. We know it's ore calcix because it's uh it's a subterranean and it's uh expedition power one, which means that's gonna be a strategic. Cool, man, that Orion system turned out to be fantastic, right? Aura Calcix, then three deposits of Jade Onyx. Very nice. Very nice, man. Jesus is going to get something. He's going to get a signal four. Ah, pirates. Signal four to come up with a little dinky little positron <laughs> yeah okay so i'll probably load back into this uh after i take a look around um so we'll go ahead and leave it there uh for this recording and i'll, I'll poke around off screen Ooh, i am a little curious to see what this turns out to be life form four on the toxic that could be but it's not. Shrapnel munitions, huh? Kill additional manpower per successful hit with projectile weapons. Use it to kill the opponent's manpower if you have projectile weapons. Okay. So that would be handy, like, if I wanted to do boarding pods. Put that on my ships. So that when I am attacking, I, I reduce the enemy manpower on their ships quicker. That would be interesting. Well, I will follow up with you guys later. Thanks for watching.